there's a few things that you need to know about the interior. For example, all of the instruments go up and down with the steering wheel. And that's great. And there's also a lot of other things around the cabin that I quite like. I quite like the instruments at the top. They all look a little bit added on though, but most of these cars have the same fault. There's some nice red stitching and this rather old fashioned looking infotainment system. It is still a touch screen, so I can still go to whatever function I like. But this affair here, which is typically Nissan, is slightly clunky. It's a little bit removed now from what most car companies are doing. There are direct select buttons down below, plus direct select buttons for AM, FM, etc. There's no DAB in this car, nor is there any Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Gear knob gets some nice red treatment, and this is the all important button that puts rev matching in gears, and that is delightful for changing down. It is absolutely brilliant. There's a small glove box, with the sockets in them and a very small bottle holder and bin in the door. Upholstery is this nice kind of red dotted Alcantara and the leather has this nice stitching. The Alcantara continues on the steering wheel as does the red stitching. Buttons are pure Nissan and are very, very easy to work. There is cruise control, but it's not smart cruise control. One final word on the binnacle before I go, I think this orange business here that looks like something from an 80s or 90s digital alarm clock I think is just a bit naff. The other thing that I don't like, all track focused cars are at it, is the speedo is relegated to uh, a position to the right of the taco. And that's something I really can't be doing with. <laughs>